I'm officially back at the gym on a more consistent basis. And that is fantastic because I've been fixing my house for the last four months. It's been stressful, it has been annoying. And it's finally 99% done. I still got to go in there on the weekends, fix some stuff up, but people have moved in, which means I don't have to be there during the week and interrupt my eating, my training, which is fantastic, that's all I wanted. So I could just show up in the weekends where I have more time, I'm not working, or compromising something, and just do something this weekend, do something next weekend, and just kind of pace myself now on fixing the number of things I need to fix them. I'm sure, I'll get them done this month, but it, it's finally over. It is finally over, and hopefully it stays over, completed for at least a year. This first working set is going to be Screw it, let's shoot up to 160. <sighs> 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 All right, as always, make sure you're taking three to five minute rest periods. That is 164, 10, 11. Damn it, I already, I already lost count. Fuck me. I'm just gonna say I did love it. All right, so now we wait and do absolutely fucking nothing because we gotta recover. So this is gonna be a really boring Four and a half minutes. So in this whole like training series, the winter arc that I've been doing, I haven't really had much planned. Haven't really done anything with it. Haven't had a goal in mind. And the whole reason was, you know, my house, that was a huge giant excuse because either I was training or I was going to my house or I was being consistent on what I was eating. I was doing two out of those three things. And the reason eating was terrible was because at my house, I didn't have any microwave. I didn't have any, anywhere to reheat food. Just didn't for four months. So I'd be sacrificing the quality of the food that I was eating and going out to eat some junk food somewhere, which really, really sucked. So there was that. And now that I'm able to really focus on that, I think I'm gonna get back into my cardio walking 15,000 steps a day, closer to 20,000, and just kind of get in the habit of doing that and making sure that I'm eating more than enough protein. I think I need to start shooting for 250 grams of protein a day, which is a lot. And honestly training almost every single day, probably uploading videos every single day because I'm gonna be here every single day. At least that is goal. It's gonna depend on if I need to recover or not, if I need a day to, to fully recover and I'm exhausted, then I'm gonna take that day. But yeah, that, that is the current goal. All right, that, that is what I'm striving for. And then we're gonna see how that develops over the time. And then we're just gonna see where it goes. But that is the current tri, tri directory, tri directory. That's where I'm headed. That's where I'm going. I'm not gonna lie, that was the longest five minutes of my life. All right, let's go. Oh. <sighs> 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 Come on. Come on. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. I don't know what it is about these workouts lately, but the contraction has just felt amazing. So what should we call that last rep? 
a half a rep, a full rep. I almost got 11. So I'm gonna count 11. That way next time I do this set, I have to beat 11 or get to two at minimum as 11. All right. Another five minutes and then I'm doing a rest pause set. Move forward. I kind of just pre exhaust myself. I kind of want to skip it because I'm feeling pretty good with chest. And I want to focus on my upper chest. And I want to have enough energy for that. And it seems like all the way at the end down there. So, do one more set because it feels good. And waste energy or conserve the energy for the upper chest. Which one should I do? So, I ended up doing one more set. And now we're on this machine to really focus on the upper chest. All right, so we got to do as many sets as possible. So this is a machine that I really want to desperately improve on. I've been stuck on this weight for a while. Like I've definitely improved in weight and reps, but I feel like I've had a standstill. So I got to figure something out to progress in this matter. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but I'm definitely, I have to, I have to do something. I'm thinking that I'm just going to double up on the number of sets for this one machine and then go from there and really focus more on the contraction, the movement, instead of the weight. And I'm going to be doing less reps, but I'm going to be taxing the muscles a lot more. So that is the theory. Hopefully that works. And we're going to see you the next couple of weeks. Honestly, then I think I was only going to be able to do three reps. That is very disappointing. You know what? I'm going to call it a day for this machine and then move on to the next. Just do some tricep work. Kind of give my chest a break. Uh, let's go to the Smith machine. All right, this is going to be one of my least favorite exercises, but we got to do them because they, because they work. Where are the sixties at? I see one. Where's the other at? Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh damn, why does this feel heavy? Fuck. Go. Nope. Mm. Oh. Damn it. I must have really exhausted my chest. Hopefully the microphone is actually working because I accidentally dropped the mic. Well I dropped the whole camera on the floor when I got to this bench. I could just spot and the mic on top of the headphone. The screen isn't working, but it looks like the audio is being picked up. If not, like that can be recorded on this. So hopefully it's working. I really hope it's working. I'm not sure why I'm not able to lift this 60 pounds. I must have really exhausted my chest, which is a good thing, but also sucks. Because like, I want to continue working out my chest. Um, I'm going to take a longer rest period. Probably scroll through TikTok and uh, try the 60s one more time. I should be able to do the 60s, like no problem, but hey, it is what it is. Um, 
I literally did not even do one rep, which is which is crazy. So I'm just put it as one, because I attempted. Um, honestly, for a second there, I thought I was going to go to the 75s and give those a try, just because I wasn't able to find the other 60. Um, but yeah, I really hope I can get that mic fixed. Cause that's that's that sucks. Like that mic cost me like 350 bucks two years ago. It's been great ever since. I'm hoping DJI will re replace it. Or maybe I could just buy like the receiver itself. <sighs> well, the good news is I was able to do almost two reps. Uh, bad news is I'm exhausted from it. I'm gonna go ahead and give up on my chest for today. I'm clearly not able to push more. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. And if I fucking speak, I'm going to move on to a tricep exercise and then call it a day. You know, anytime I do triceps, I always, or anything with a pulley, I usually gravitate to this one. Like there are three others that I can use. And I was, I was just using this one. So this one's sentimental. Let's go with 130. And uh, start with there, see how that feels. Oh, last time I did this, I did six reps with 130. So that's good. I have to beat six reps. I feel like I had a bigger attachment last time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is way better. It's way better for my personal use case, so that, that is what I'm gonna be using. Oh man, that felt good. That felt real good. Uh, definitely need to up the weight though. Uh, I gotta go heavier than that. Like, let's do 150. 130 felt too easy, but it felt good though. I mean, I'm really upset about the microphone thing. It is, it's just white now. That kind of sucks. So I gotta figure out how much, no, I'm, I'm gonna get 250 grams of protein a day. Like I'm already eating a pound of beef within like a two hour period, three hour period, call it. Um, and that's 125. And I'm not sure I have it in me to eat a second pound of beef. Oh, so that's gonna be really expensive. Um, I know I can add two scoops of protein. That's gonna give me, let's say 50 grams of protein. So that's gonna be, be at 175. And then the yogurt is 80 grams. But I'm honestly getting tired of the yogurt. Um, it's just, it's good, but it's just, it doesn't make me feel full. You know, I need, more complex foods in my body so i feel satiated so i feel full protein i feel like i break that down pretty quickly um, it's hard to describe because i feel hungry or maybe i'm just so used to being hungry that i just want more food you know i have a high spike of ghrelin when it's time to eat and i just got to get used to it type of thing you know or i got to mitigate over a duration of period of time the ghrelin amount that my body produces, so I'm not as hungry. I mean, I just have to wait it out, essentially. And right, let's get to let's do this next rep, or next set, I mean.
Oh, yeah. That 100% felt heavier, difficult, and amazing. Way better than the 130. I'm not gonna lie, I lost count. Like I was counting, then I started speaking. And I have no idea how many reps I did. I think I did 12. I know for a fact I did a minimum of 10. So I'm gonna put down that I did 10 on this one. Well, because I'm not confident enough that I went to 12. I feel like I did, but next time I do it, it's just gonna be easier, ideally. Uh, man, feeling pretty good. All right, next set, we're doing 150. I've never done 150 for this many reps. Wow, that is, that is really impressive. That just shows that I'm progressively overloading on this machine. Um, because on here, on set two, like official set two, the first time was just a warm up. Uh, I had never done 150 for this. You know, uh, set one, the official one, first set for this exercise, never done 150. And never done it for the feeder set. So I'm progressing. I've jumped up. I think the max I've done that I see on here is 140. And that was for 14 reps. So the fact that I'm able to do 150 for 10 reps now, that is crazy. You know, that just shows you that if you need to, you need to track your workouts. So that way you know what you're doing. You, need, you know what numbers you gotta try to beat. And if you wanna know how to keep track of your workouts, check out a link somewhere now up here where I'll show you how to keep track of your workouts just like I track track my workouts on my phone. It's the easiest thing. And let me give you a brief overview. You download numbers or Excel type of app on whatever phone you have. You can use Google Sheets. Um, I don't know what else is out there, but you know, I'll break it down into the rows or the number of sets that I want to do. And it's also like the specific machine. From there, I just break it apart from like exercise one, exercise two, exercise three kind of cluster in together. Oh yeah. There's nothing like a good tricep pump that makes your arms just feel bigger, makes you feel bigger. Oh, excuse me. So officially I have one more set to do. But it just this just feels pretty good. Then I might double up on the number of sets or at least do a couple more. And maybe I'll go into the next machine afterwards. Maybe I just call it a day after I do a couple more sets. Oh, because honestly, this, this just was good. I hate looking at my camera because all I see is like the transmitter or the receiver white when it should be showing the audio signals working. So hopefully this is working. Is this on? Okay. I have the backup still working. The only, the only issue with that is it's going to be a bitch to put it all together because if this is recording and that's not, I gotta match what I'm saying. Fuck. 
Man, those rest pauses, they do a killing. All right, I will continue doing these, but it's getting heavy, it's getting hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more set and then move on. My shoulders are looking pretty good. I haven't really trained them consistently in like two months, a month. Uh, but before that, like every chest day, I'd be doing shoulders because I knew it would be on the machine that I'd be wanting to use. So all right, let me go train my shoulders. Pretty easy. Uh, so I think I think I had some pretty pretty decent development from that. Uh, not a lot, but a little is better than nothing. This is gonna be the last machine I've already done. My two or three sets. I have one set left. Then calling it a day. My triceps feel burnt out. And I also realized one thing. I was tracking the wrong exercise on the wrong sheet, which sucks because now I'm second guessing all my lifts, at least for the last month or so. Have I actually been pushing myself or have I just put it in the wrong spot where I'm weaker and thinking I'm getting stronger because the weights are pretty close together, at least what it looks like, you know? But it is what it is. I definitely know that I have not pulled 150 for that consistent amount, at least not in a while. I'm sure I haven't before, but for what would I do, 10 reps? Probably not. Um, and I know I've done more rep or more weight on this machine, but my triceps are completely taxed from that last exercise. Um, I'm doing 90 and I've done more than 90 and up in the way to 100 and just giving that a go for the last set. Uh, I'm only able to do like six reps, which is crazy because I know I can do more. But like I said, my triceps are completely taxed. They feel great. I uh, stimulated and I know that they're going to be growing, especially tomorrow when I am resting, getting enough protein in my body, consuming enough nutrients. And honestly, up until this morning slash yesterday, I was pretty, I was feeling pretty down. And then I started like taking, I took three vitamin D pills yesterday. Then I think I took two more before bed. I took three this morning and then I took like two more during lunch. So I've had a lot of vitamin D struggling through my body and I feel, I feel wonderful. I feel great. And especially now that it's winter, you know, the sun's only out for what, six, eight hours, uh, which makes it more crucial for you and everybody to start consuming vitamin D supplementation because there's a good chance you're not being outside when the sun is and getting like the sunlight, you know, so if you don't want to get that seasonal depression that people usually get, start taking a decent amount of vitamin D. Uh, talk to your doctor. I, from my current understanding, now you can do whatever you want, but my current understanding is you cannot have enough vitamin D. It's just one of those things that your body utilizes. You know, you're not going to get like toxic liver or anything. Um, unless you have some other precursors as well, then you may, may have some concerns to worry about. Like I said, talk to your doctor. Um, I'm personally, I feel like I'm good. I feel like I'm better off taking more. Uh, usually during the winter, I'm not outside as much. I work from home. So it's just like, I have the opportunity, but it's just like, it's also very cold that I don't want to be outside trying to get some sunlight, you know? Like it was, it was snowing last night. And so, vitamin D supplementation, highly recommend it. But again, talk to your doctor. Um, you know, this is just what I'm doing uh, and, and this is just what's working for me. So do with what you wish with that information. God damn, this is heavier. Oh, wow. Would have thought just, just adding 10 pounds would have made it 10 times more difficult. All right, that's it for this. Time to go home, shower. Um, yeah, it's been a good workout so far. Very, very good, great workout. <sighs>